Good morning, everyone. And uh, thank you for coming out in the bitter cold this morning. Uh, we continue our journey through the season of Advent, asking God to manifest his blessings upon us as we journey with him to the eternal life of heaven. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask for God's mercy. We're sent to heal the sorrowful in heart, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. Came to give hope to sinners in darkness, and so we ask, Christ, have mercy. Free for eternal redemption before our Heavenly Father, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May our prayer of petition rise before you, we pray, O God, that with purity and blemish, we, your servants, may come as we desire to celebrate the great mystery of the incarnation of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exult. The steppe will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble. Make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God, he comes with vindication. With divine recompense, he comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be open, the ears of the deaf will be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag, then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The abode where the jackals lurk will be a marsh with reeds for, for a reed and papyrus. The highway will be there, called the holy way. No one unclean may pass over it, nor fools go astray on it. No lion will be there, nor beast of prey to go up to be met upon it. It is for those with a journey to make, and on it, the redeemed will walk. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness. Sorrow and mourning will flee. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Our God will come to save us. Our God will come to save us. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Our God will come to save us. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Our God will come to save us. The Lord himself will give his benefits, and, our, and the land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Our God will come to save us.
Come, the Lord of the earth, and he himself will lift the yoke of our captivity. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One day, as Jesus was teaching, the Pharisees and teachers of the law who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem were sitting there, and the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought in a stretcher of a man who was paralyzed, and they were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence. But not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle of the front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, as for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and Pharisees began to ask themselves, who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who but God alone can forgive sins? When Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, what are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk, but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, pick up your stretcher and go home. He stood up immediately before them and picked up what he had been lying on and went home glorifying God. When astonishment seized them all, they glorified God, and struck with awe, they said, we have seen incredible things today. The Gospel of the Lord. I don't know if you heard the new... uh, definition of COVID today. It's uh, short-windedness, persistent cough, and a pain in the neck when you're paying your grocery bill or trying to get a tank of gas in your car. (laughs) Jeff and Tara uh, Lingobardo in our Beautiful, of course we don't have one. Our beautiful Advent uh, program reflects on the words of Isaiah in that first reading today. God will send one who will release the blind from their blindness and give them sight. The deaf will hear. The mute will speak. The lame will walk, as is the case of today's gospel. And the dead will be raised from from the dead. And the good news will be preached to those in captivity. So today, they said that that is good news for us. We need to hear some good news in our universal situation today as this world is kind of teetering and tottering around on wars and violence, bloodshed, killings of children and adults. We need to hear some good news that God is going to lift us up from these grievous things and going to help us to see it through it all. And I think their message, Jeff and Tara's message, is pretty accurate for, for many of us. We too feel that same way, that when we read the paper and we, or listen to the news, and it's usually all 
pretty much bad stuff going on. But I am an optimist, because I am a Christian. And I truly believe for every one bad thing that happens in our world, 10 good things are also happening that isn't publicized, isn't notarized, isn't splashed over the airways, but good things are happening because the Lord is with us, his people. Emmanuel is with us already, even as we prepare for his coming in the great nativity of our celebrations. He is with us, comforting us, and lifting us up from our doldrums and despair. So let us give thanks today to God, who heals us of our many infirmities, particularly as he healed the paralytic man from his sinful infirmities. Your sins are forgiven. Boy, is that great news to any of all and all of us, isn't it? Your sins are forgiven. That you may know, the Son of Man has power to forgive sins. Rise, walk, go home. And he did. And that gives us great hope, doesn't it? That our God is with us. He is on our side. And for every one bad thing that's happening in the world, because of his grace, his presence, his goodness, and our efforts along with him as his disciples today, 10 good things or 100 good things are happening that we hardly, if ever, hear about. But they are going on. And yes, the world, though it may seem to be uh, going to you nowhere in a, in a basket, it really isn't. It's getting better because our God is with us. Emmanuel is with us. We have no fears. May I invite you to stand now and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord, knowing that he hears and answers all of our prayers. The response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may prepare the hearts of men and women around the world for the coming of its Savior, Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders be prepared to set aside their grievances and to work for a world that is more just for everyone. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who ask us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Mary Polka, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother, who also accompanies us when the good things of God's blessings happen to us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. the mystery, just water and wine, and we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for goodness we have this bread to offer, for church is given, and human hands are made, it will become for us the bread of life. 
And bless still our God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer for the divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. For God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. The Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Let us stand and pray with good news in our hearts that your sacrifice and mine today will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Our good fall. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gather from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you assume that his first coming, the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfill the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty and at last all things are made manifest, and we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels and thrones and dominions, the whole host of the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Be holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered billing these with passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, handed it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice in my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Joseph our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, her devoted husband, with John the Baptist, with the prophet Isaiah, and all of the apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
Now let us pray as Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you always. Let us happily share that peace with one another and with the whole world that truly needs it. Lamb of God. Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we this morning, or called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, and you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Come, O Lord, visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a blameless heart. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And the Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day today.